Welcome to today's review. Today we are reviewing the Locklick Laser Engraver and I am absolutely having a blast using this laser engraver. It is such a new toy. It's such a new product for us to use and actually hop into and get to understand. So to get things started off, we are very, very new to laser engraving and there's a lot of things we still need to learn. What to set the, the laser engraver to with the percentage as well as the speed. More than likely, it's the speed we really need to adjust and the materials we need to laser engrave on. Now with this laser engraver, it's extremely lightweight, so we've been able to transport it around and be able to move it without any problem. It's been a very easy setup process, very easy to understand, and I even had my wife, Amanda, be able to use the functions of it as is with the app. And the sizing for it has been great. Now what we need to work on is finding out how we can have a base set of it rather than using the laser for the outer dimensions have an actual dimension plate that's going to be able to give us the exact dimensions of it now i will mention we got the standard kit we did not get the enclosure version as of yet now with the standard kit it's definitely not something to use indoors we did test it to see what the capabilities of are and were when you are laser engraving inside with our animals our kids it is definitely not something you want to use indoors as this is something we've had hands on for the first time we were unaware of how much the odor was going to be on this laser engraver. But it's a simple process. We have moved it into the garage. And what we are doing is opening the garage door up and having a fan ventilate it out of the garage area. Now, we have printed on some materials that we tried. We even purchased a little notebook that actually turned out really good. But certain materials that we are needing to accustom to, um, there is a leatherette that we need to figure out how to laser engrave and my wallet which I will showcase here in the video of something that got laser engraved. I like the details of it, but the depth of it should be more defined. And that is definitely something for us to work on and fix for us to be able to use the laser engraver to its max capability. Now, something that we are gonna be hopping into for the Locklick laser engraver is we wanna get cutting boards that are going to test the size capability of what we can produce and what images and things like that we can do because we are definitely working on building the display so we can bring it to our farmer's markets as its own table of all the different things we can do only on the things we are confidently capable of doing with full detail. So we are learning how to laser engrave on metal, books, journals, pencils, things like that. So we're definitely gonna be hopping into that in the next couple weeks so we can get a confidence builder on exactly doing the laser engraving process so we can actually market it as a product we can actually provide to our customers. Make sure to read the directions before doing it because on this one, we actually kind of skimmed through the directions and kind of just had fun with it as is to see what we could do and how easy it is to pick up. And like I said, Amanda had been able to hop on the app, kind of understand what it was, loaded a, a design and laser engraved on the product that we had on the table. So we are really, really excited to do it. We do have to learn how to do the name tags and kind of print on the couple of the other materials that are provided. We have not used the laser cutting capabilities yet on the laser engraver. We only have used it for the laser engraving capabilities. And I think that's all we're gonna be using for on the lock lick for now until we can get a metal base that will allow us to laser engrave on the bottom without having to burn through material underneath. Because even though we have a heat resistant uh, material, I don't wanna find out <laughs> after we cut that it cut through the material as well. So that's not something I'm willing to try or test because we are using it for the, the capabilities of engraving. That's really our scope of this review right now. We definitely will revisit this in due time once we have a little bit more time to get our hands on and understanding it and maybe even potentially have the enclosure to be able to test out more features of it. That is one feature that we did not like is the way it smelt. The way to fix that we fix the odor is bring it into the garage, which definitely solved that. Now, the next thing that I do want to mention is the guessing of where the laser engraving uh, dimensions are gonna be. Now I feel like on our end, it's definitely been a lot of testing out and guessing on where it's gonna be and then having to readjust to actually fit right in that parameters. Yes, it is technically easy, but having to do the additional steps of making sure that is within the parameters takes two or three times for us, especially with us being brand new. I think with more time, we will adapt to that part but at the time being, I wish there was a functionality on it. If there's something in the future where it can enhance the ability to kind of know exactly where the product is um, via sensor of some sort, where we don't have to do the additional steps 
And again, it's not that many steps, but it would be something that is speed. We live in a time where speed is everybody's need. And I think that would definitely be cool to have incorporated with the Lockless Laser Engraver. Other than that, we've been having a blast. Again, I am so looking forward to seeing what else we can make with this new addition to the Family Friend Project. If you guys have anything that I may have missed, please leave a comment down below or some tips. I would definitely appreciate it. But that is our review on the Lockwood Laser Engraver. And we will catch you guys on the next weekly vlog. And so thank you guys so much. And also thank you, Lockwood, for the opportunity to showcase this to our audience it definitely means a lot to us we really do appreciate it and now if you guys are looking for a laser engraver there is a link in the description box below which you guys can check out and other than that stay positive stay tuned and we will see you guys on this week's vlog